List of skyscrapers under construction in Seattle. Seattle is one of the cities that explore how a new generation of tall buildings could respond, negate, or redefine the misperceptions of density, height, and wellness, while creating viable, demonstrable, and responsible solutions to post-pandemic concerns. Here are four skyscrapers that will transform the city. 4C. Architecture firm Oda has designed a residential building in downtown Seattle that splits in half to create an elevated private park. The proposed design, called Seattle Tower, would see the construction of a 1,185-foot tower with 1,080 residential units and retail, parking garages, and co-working spaces located on its lower levels. Designed for developer Crescent Heights, the tower has a slender profile that features a gridded white facade marked by equally sized rectangles. Halfway up the building, each of the four faces has an irregular opening to reveal the outdoor courtyard situated in the middle of the building. The green space is designed as a shared park space for residents and also as a lookout point for viewing the nearby Mount Rainier. The void in the middle of the tower serves residents twofold, in placing a shared amenity space outdoors while offering stunning views provided by Seattle's natural beauty. According to the firm, the design provides an example of a way to create private outdoor areas which have become invaluable for people to safely get fresh air as they self-isolate in their homes to reduce the spread of coronavirus. Oda founder Aaron Chen was among a number of architects that said the pandemic highlighted the need for finding ways to design housing with outdoor space in dense cities. Renderings of Seattle Tower show an expansive deck furnished with couches and benches and a number of trees and other plants for socializing and enjoying nature. Tiered structures attached to the tower would wrap around the outdoor space, providing different vantage points and numerous areas to enter from. These elevated amenities offer views of the sea or mountains in the distance, new places to connect with neighbors in spaces big enough to sit outside and feel the wind blow through your hair. Founded in 2007, Oda has completed a number of residential buildings in the United States, including an apartment complex in Brooklyn with colorful window frames and a top-heavy building on New York's Lower East Side. 888 Project Urban Vision Seattle Real Estate is proposing a 60-story office and condo project in Seattle's downtown, which, according to a report by the Downtown Seattle Association, will cost $750 million to build. The proposed project, Tower 888, is one of the most expensive developments in the mid-2016 development pipeline and will be the second tallest building in the city. Located at 888 2nd Avenue, the site is bounded by Madison Street, 3rd Avenue, Marion Street, and 2nd Avenue, and is in close proximity to Interstate 5. The current plan for the 888-foot tower, designed by Seattle-based architecture firm NBBJ, includes approximately 16 floors containing 160 luxury condo units over 1 million square feet of Class A office space in the remaining 44 floors. Along with the residential and office spaces, there will also be around 40,000 square feet of retail space that is anchored by the well-known Metropolitan Grill on 2nd Avenue. At the center of the proposed project is a 616-foot atrium that will fill the interior offices with natural light and provide sky views to pedestrians walking beneath the tower. One of the aspects that Urban Visions carries through all of their projects is a high level of sustainability obtained through LEED certification. What we try to do is make decisions that, to us, make logical sense. We try to incorporate everything, from energy usage to health for the employees, in respect to what provides an environment that will make them healthy. This involves materials, natural light, and biophilia, which occurs when around greenery. Urban Visions is a privately owned real estate development firm which finances, builds, and manages its properties, focusing on urban areas. Its portfolio of projects that are planned, under construction, and complete include over 4 million square feet of office space, over 750 residential units, along with retail and industrial properties in the greater Seattle area. Approximately 2 million square feet of this office space is between this project and S, a million square foot office project in South Downtown. According to DSA's Development Guide Mid-Year 2016 update, downtown office development is accelerating. As of June, almost 6 million square feet is under construction, and although this is down over 1 million square feet from June of last year, it is up slightly from the end of 2015. 
It is also the highest amount of mid-year office space DSA has noted since the organization began tracking downtown's development in 2005. The same report also states that the downtown residential market set a new record with the delivery of 3,600 residential units in 2015. Including the 708 units already completed so far this year, there are another 8,661 units scheduled for completion by 2017. Nearly 7,000 of these are under construction and just over 1,000 are in pre-construction stages. DSA's report says that there are more than 20,000 units scheduled for completion after 2017, most of those in the pre-development phase. Rainier Square Tower Rainier Square Tower is a new 58-story, mixed-use, high-rise tower being developed by Wright Runstad & Company on Union Street between 4th and 5th Avenues in downtown Seattle, Washington, U.S. Being built with an estimated cost of $570 million, the high-rise tower has been designed by NBBJ. The 850-foot-tall structure will become the second-tallest skyscraper in Seattle upon its completion in August 2020. The mixed-use tower is expected to stimulate the urban development in downtown Seattle by attracting top-class businesses, residents and visitors, while complementing existing landmark buildings such as Rainier Tower, the Fairmont Olympic Hotel, and the IBM Building. Inspired by the neighboring Rainier Tower, the design of the new tower is focused on preserving the views to and from the existing tower while harmonizing its design. The new tower will offer street-level entrances to draw the visitors and a central space for gathering of people. Being built with an estimated cost of $570 million, the high-rise tower has been designed by NBBJ. The skyscraper is a sloped structure with a wide base becoming slender at higher levels. The inclined design creates panoramic views while cascading floors fuse well with the natural background of the area. The engraved base further makes the tower distinct from the existing skyscrapers in the vicinity. Retail space and amenities will be located at the lower levels, followed by fitness club and office space above them. The residential zone will be located on the higher levels to offer extensive panoramic views of the mountains and water. The curtail wall facade of the tower is made of metal prism panels with variable density. The panels are arranged to rotate 180 degrees during the day based on the position of the sun. The innovative approach is anticipated to achieve a performance level at least 7.5% higher than the requirements of the Seattle Energy Code, which is one of the most rigorous energy ratings in the U.S. The tower is being constructed using a shear wall core system, substituting the conventional rebar and formwork between concrete components. The system reduces construction time and costs compared with the traditional concrete core system. The shopping center adjacent to the Rainier Tower was closed in August 2017, enabling the start of site demolition in September 2017. Construction began in October 2017, and the tower topped out in August 2019. The Rainier Square Tower is being built to comply with the highest sustainability standards and will offer 1.15 million square feet of mixed-use space. It will include 722,000 square feet of office space, 71,000 square feet of retail space, 181 residential units, and a 12-story boutique hotel with 220 rooms. The tower will also offer a seven-level below-grade parking facility for more than 1,000 vehicles. The office and retail facilities will be available for users in the second half of 2020, while the residential units are scheduled to be occupied in 2021. Wright Runstad & Company was preferred by the University of Washington to develop the new tower on the university's Metropolitan Tract area in downtown Seattle in May 2014. The company was also granted an 80-year land lease through a competitive bidding process. Lease Crutcher Lewis was contracted by Wright Runstad & Company as the general contractor for the project. Magnuson Klemenchich Associates, or MKA, is the structural engineer for the tower. Amazon signed a lease agreement with Wright Runstad & Company for entire 722,000 square feet office space. Macmillan installed a building management system, or BIM, to help monitor and control the energy usage throughout the complex. Third and Cherry Bosa Development is planning to buy and develop the full block at 601 4th Avenue, now owned by the city, with a new 58-story condominium tower and public plaza. 
The project, called Third and Cherry, will have its third and possibly final design review at 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, April 2 at City Hall, 604th Avenue, room L280. James K. M. Cheng Architects of Vancouver, B.C. is the design architect. Joseph Wong Design Associates of San Diego is the architect of record. BOSA, also based near Vancouver, typically acts as its own general contractor. The block is bounded by 3rd and 4th Avenues and Cherry and James Streets. The tower has increased by one story since the last design review just over a year ago. Its height is unchanged. The unit count has gone down from 500 to 423 condos, likely meaning larger layouts. Parking has been reduced from 640 to 586 stalls on 8 levels, 6 underground, 2 partly at grade. Some stalls may be double stacked using car lifts. Bicycle parking isn't specified, but there will be a bike room or rooms. Total project size, including the parking, is about 976,000 square feet. As before, the approximately 28,000 square feet of retail is concentrated along Cherry on three levels. The roughly 27,000 square foot public plaza with a cascading water feature is concentrated along James down to third. It's divided into three zones, upper plaza, terraced gardens, and lower plaza. Minor but notable design changes include, the tower has been slightly rotated and shifted farther northeast, as compared to last year, when it was pushed farther east than the initial 2017 proposal. Consolidated parking and loading access to the arrival plaza on Cherry with a smaller curb cut. The residential lobby is now on 4th, facing City Hall. The retail has been slightly reconfigured along Cherry. The water feature has been lowered and stepped. A fountain with jets has been added on 4th in front of the residential entry. The water now runs in a more linear channel downhill. The stream connects to the one running through City Hall. A public elevator has been added to connect 3rd and 4th for plaza users who can't manage the steps on the sloping site. Balconies have been tweaked for more variation and gradation. A screen now encloses the rooftop mechanical areas. Most units will run from 1 to 3 bedrooms with between 700 and 1,700 square feet. The 55th floor will have 4 large penthouse units with up to 2,600 square feet. The 56th and 58th floors are only for mechanical uses. Residential amenities will include a gym overlooking the lower plaza on 3rd. The 57th floor will be entirely amenities, totaling about 8,978 square feet, with a lap pool, sauna, steam room, kiddie pool, private lounges, deck, garden lounge, community lounge, and kitchen for events. There's an entrance to Pioneer Square Station on the south side of the block on 3rd. BOSA had previously discussed making cosmetic design changes to it. Now it reports that Sound Transit is planning to expand and revamp the transit tunnel entrance and possibly others. The station entrance is left unchanged for now. The team also includes FPS Studio, Vancouver, Landscape Architect, Glotman Simpson, Vancouver, Structural Engineer, Rushing MEP, Engineer, KPFF, Civil, Ground Support, Shoring, Bush Road and Hitchings, Surveyor, and Hart Krauser, Geotechnical. No start date has been announced. BOSA is now building the 188 condominium in Bellevue where it has three other downtown sites to develop. In a deal that was announced two years ago by then-Mayor Ed Murray, BOSA will pay the City of Seattle about $21.7 million for the 1.3-acre Third and Cherry site. That includes a $5.7 million contribution to the City's Affordable Housing Fund. A separate mandatory housing affordability payment based on the overall project size hasn't been calculated yet. That earns a 30% increase in height over the existing 440-foot zoning. Including mechanical and rooftop levels, the tower will rise about 629 feet above 3rd. Sometimes still called Civic Square, the block has been a vacant pit, now with a substantial tree growing inside since the old public safety building was demolished in 2005.